I've got the AX client running here, but in environments where you've got remote access or wide area networks that you need to allow users to access the AX client, you may need to use terminal services. And one of the ways to distribute the AX application is to publish an application. So you'll see I've logged on here to the remote desktop services in Windows, the published applications that are available through the web applications. So you see I've got Excel and Access, for example, a couple of Office applications. So when I start, you'll see it's a remote application and the application will start and the user can use it like a normal application. You'll see the icon is different to Excel that would be running uh, locally. So this is actually executing on the server side. So we're using the processing on the server and, and of course uh, can access that over limited bandwidth connections. Now we can do the same with the AX client. So let's go in and publish the AX client through remote desktop services. So I'm using Windows Server 2012 R2 here. So the process is slightly different uh, if you're using Windows Server 2008. The, the same concept applies, but the menu, of course, is different to, uh, from the server manager. So I'm going to go into my server collection here, and this is where we have the ability to publish our remote uh, programs. So under the tasks, I can say publish remote program which will go through and give me the list of applications that are installed on this server. So we can have a look through the lists and it'll be listed under Microsoft Dynamics AX2012. So this is the client. You'll see the other applications that are installed on the machine, but of course we just need to publish the client. So the process is actually fairly simple. Uh, if we hit publish, then the application's ready. So you'll see it in the list here. If you click edit, this will give you the ability to change some of the uh, settings, for example. So by, by default, it'll be on the RD web axis. So we'll refresh that page in a minute and we'll see the AX application show up there. Now you can specify different parameters if you need to specify a command line parameter for it, um, uh, user assignment if there's specific users that are allowed to access it. Um, of course, you don't necessarily need to do this because if the user hasn't been set up to use AX, they're not going to be able to uh, log into AX anyway sort of thing, right? So whether they've published, got it published or not. But this is additional administration that you can use. Um, any file association, so the AXC files, um, are associated here and stuff. So now that it's published, if I go back to my RD Web Access page and refresh it, you'll see that we now have an icon for Dynamics AX. Uh, if I click on that, that's going to launch. And again, you'll see the published icon is a little different to the icon running locally on my desktop. So um, you'll see the difference. But to the end user, that's really the, um, the, the only difference they'll see in the operation of uh, the client. There are some things that you kind of need to consider in terms of um, the operation. For example, uh, accessing Office applications while running under the client, accessing attachments um, that have been published in document handling. If you're going to open third-party applications from AX, you need to consider um, those applications and whether they're also going to run on the server, for example. So um, that's a quick walkthrough of publishing the AX uh, application. In this particular case, accessing it through the remote desktop web access. You can publish the icon. I'll put a link on the blog to where you can go and find instructions and go and publishing the icon as well. Um, so again, Windows Server 2012 was the walkthrough. And so you'll find the remote app publishing under